Here in the islands, the polls remained open much later than expected to accommodate people in line. Final numbers are still being tabulated, but one thing is for sure. Honolulu has a new mayor-elect, and that's Rick Blangiardi. He joins us now with more. Good morning to you, Mayor-elect Blangiardi. How are you feeling this morning? Good morning, Christine. Well, I had a nap last night because we didn't <laughs> finish until the wee hours of the morning, but I'm very honored and pleased to be here. Good morning. Good morning. Congratulations. Thanks so much for joining us so early. First Thank order you. of business is to assemble a good team. You've been saying this all along, the importance yes. of having a good team. Can you give us more details on what that team looks like or you hope will look like? <laughs> well, look, I think the first thing, I'm going to meet with Mayor Caldwell later on this afternoon, and he's prepared binders for me of all their current employees. And we will certainly want to evaluate that. I understand there are some people who may be retiring want to try to evaluate the existing team. I've said that all along. It's a lot about going in there and bringing everybody new. But I clearly have begun to have some very serious conversations with my managing director um, and uh, a few other people. Uh, but we're not prepared right now, Christine. Honestly, I don't want to be evasive. But you know, we literally won hours ago, and I, I wanted to do this interview this morning and be as forthright as I can. We're just not ready to make those announcements yet, but hopefully very shortly because we've we've been talking about that. But you know, when you want to talk to really good people and you're still not really in the job, you can only take those conversations so far. And honestly, when I got home last night at 2:30 in the morning, I wasn't about to start making phone calls. Now, as mayor-elect, there's no time to rest. You took a short nap last night. You mentioned you are meeting with Mayor Caldwell today. What other items yes. will you discuss aside from employees? Well, I really want to talk to him and get an update on several things. One, uh, to the extent from their vantage point on the science, if you will, of where we are with the pandemic. Uh, you know, I'm aware of the data, but I want to understand some of the decision-making and what their immediate plans will be. Because remember, he'll be in office for two more months. I've asked, I will be asking for a budget review probably next week, spend a couple of days on the 21 budget. Uh, it's one of our very first tasks. I've talked about that throughout the campaign of going in there and, and, and taking that. And, and then the other thing that I think I really want to speak to him about, to be very candid with you, is his personal take on rail and where things have been. Because as you've seen over the last several weeks, as we've all seen, um, you know, there's a lot going on with rail right now. It's been uh, probably, for want of a better word, confusing to most everybody. <clears throat> And we talk more about Honolulu's reopening strategy. Now, you will talk to the mayor about it later today. But by looking at the structure, is there something you don't agree with and maybe could change in terms of restrictions, tiers, or, or metrics? I don't want to say what I agree with. I want to understand his thinking first from them, other than stuff that I've read. And then we can take, we'll, take, we'll take that approach as to what we agree with or disagree with. And quite honestly, um, you know, you know, what influence I might have, if any, is mayor-elect over the course of the next two months. Uh, but, you know, to the extent that we can try to operationalize or insert ourselves and get involved, I mean, to me, I said last night after midnight when we first found out we had won, you know, it's, the job starts now as far as I'm concerned. No surprise, there's going to be a lot of new faces in the Honolulu City Council, some without any experience in this type of political office. How do you all work together for the residents when you're still, I guess, some of you learning on the job, if you will? Well, you know, yes and no to that extent. I've been very impressed with the people who are running. I've not really embraced the council yet. I have had some conversations with some of the newer council members, but even someone like Calvin Say is not exactly new to politics, or Andrea Tapola for that matter. Uh, so, you know, uh, I'm, I'm excited about that potential. I think, you know, for all of us going in there, I know one thing, that they bring a passion and a caring for their council districts. That's why they got elected. They certainly are very aware of the issues in those districts. And, and I'm, I'm looking forward to us coming together as a team. I've talked about that before. Um, the city council, is mayor's greatest asset as far as decision making and the plans that we have and i really want to i'm really looking forward to bringing that team together and working with them i know you got home very early this morning but <laughs> have you talked to your challenger keith amemia did he give you a call or vice versa he did he did and um it was cordial and at the end of the day we decided he would make his concession speech first last night uh, and then and then we spoke. I also received a phone call last night from Governor Ige, and that was a very pleasant conversation. We talked about our collaboration going forward and have asked for a meeting with him as soon as possible. And he 
gave me his cell number and said, call me and let's get it on the schedule. So that's, that's where, you know, look, we were all taken back a bit last night, you know, with the printout and given the experience we had in the primary, we really thought that, you know, we'd have results early in the evening at latest because they were talking about the first printout would contain 90, 90% of the votes. As it turned out, we had a vote, you know, record breaking voting day. And on top of that, a lot of people were waiting in line till very late at night. Uh, so, you know, that, that threw off our, I think the conversations we might've had last evening and some of the ones I quite honestly might have had with a couple of people that I could have saw, spoken to you this morning about, we didn't get to do that. <laughs> How about that's, your that's, that's a reality. How about your final message to all Oahu residents who are, you know, looking for answers during this time, looking for hope? Well, thank you for that question. First of all, my message to everybody, especially the people who voted for us, is thank you. We, you know, clearly we're stepping into a situation not small on challenges. These are extraordinary challenges, really the challenges of our lifetime. We need to really work together, come together. You know, I uh, I will tell you that I, I'm really interested in, in being a unifier and a problem solver. So yeah, this has been a campaign and yes, there have been people on both sides, but now is the time for us to come together. I want to do everything I can to possibly earn the trust and the confidence of the people. Um, and they're going to do that through our actions, not just our words. And so we'll try to do everything we possibly can to help. I, as I've said repeatedly, COVID-19, Christine, has redefined the role of the mayor. I mean, economic recovery is the only thing we talked about on day one when we announced the run for mayor back in February. And we have people right now in very serious needs of money, a lot of fear and a lot of uncertainty out there. I want to look at that and work on that as best we possibly can. Well, I know you're running on a few hours of sleep, so I thank you so much, <laughs> Mayor-elect Blangiardi, for joining us this morning. And again, congratulations. Thank you, Christine. It's an honor to be here. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you again.